Hey, thanks for stopping by my channel. In this video, we're gonna cover a free place for you to practice bug bounty as though you were on a live website. I've had quite a few requests from some of you asking, is there a place where I can go that is like a live bug bounty program with a lot of vulnerabilities that I can just search around and see if I can exploit them? And that is a great question. And there is one place that I know of that is really great for this. And this is OWASP Juice Shop. There are other web apps you can install locally on your computer and spin up the server, but they're not gonna be as good as Juice Shop because they don't function as though they are a live website. The way they function is more of you selecting a exploit you wanna to try to exploit and then you practice right there on that one page. Port Swigger is also a great place to practice your bug bounty skills. But as far as a live website goes, Juice Shop is really the best. You can log in, you can create an account, you can leave feedback, you can buy items from the Juice Shop store. It's all a great place to practice and one of the best things about Juice Shop is every direction you turn there is a vulnerability. It is put out by OWASP so you will see a lot of the top 10 vulnerabilities all over on this web app. So let's go ahead and dive into it and I'll show you how to install Juice Shop and how to navigate it. Okay, so here we are on our Kali machine. You're gonna need a terminal opened up and you can go ahead and dive into the downloads folder. And then you will want to navigate over to Google and have SourceForge and then Juice Shop and we will hit enter. I'm actually gonna have the exact link you need for this install in the description below. So you don't actually have to follow along with Google, but if you want to, I wanna show you how to get there just in case the version numbers do change with Node if they put out an update, you may need to install a different version number and I wanna show you how to do this. So you'll come to the first one to the Juice Shop download and then we're gonna check out the five right here and so here is the node versions that we have right here so this is going to be our first install that we're gonna to need to do and these installs will actually take a little while so I'm gonna cut the video once they start to install but you're gonna type in right here sudo apt dash get install node.js we're gonna go ahead and hit enter We'll type in our password and it's gonna give you this pop-up. Do you want to continue? And you're going to say yes. Now this install is probably gonna take somewhere between three to eight minutes depending on your download speed. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this portion of the video. All right, so that ended up taking a little longer than I anticipated. It took about 10 minutes. So depending on your internet speed, it may be different for you. But here we are, this has finished. So one of the things we're gonna do now is we're gonna type in node-v, and this is going to tell us our node version right here. And so we're gonna click on this top one, and we're going to install for Linux down here at the bottom, this one right here. So we will click this, and so we have this node 16, and you're gonna to want to check this depending on how far in the future you are watching this specific video. So we'll click this, and it'll take a second to give us the pop-up for the download. And so I'll actually cut the video and show you what the pop-up looks like when it shows up. Okay, so I was actually having a little bit of trouble getting this to work. So I'm gonna show you two different ways to get this to download just in case you run into some problems. So first, if you click the download and this little thing right here popped up for you, then you can just click save file and hit okay and it will save to your downloads. But for everyone else, let me go back if you click, if you come down to our file and you click the one we want to download right here and that is not popping up for you, what you can do is just hit this little X right here and you can just down, you can highlight this and copy it and this is actually what I ended up having to do to get this to work. And what you're going to do with that is you're going to run a wget just like this you're gonna type in wget and then you'll paste in all that that we just copied. So what you'll do is you'll just go wget and then you will paste what we just copied into this and you will hit enter. And that's what I had to do right here in order to get this to download. And you can see I downloaded it to my desktop. So what we'll do from here, if, it got, if you got it to download the original way, it'll be in your downloads. If you ran a wget, it's gonna be wherever you did the wget to get the file. So from here, what we will end up doing is typing in tar-xvzf, and then we're going to type in our juice shop, and I hit tab for the autocomplete, and we're going to unzip this. 
and you're gonna have a bunch of files unzip. And I actually forgot one thing we also need to do is go sudo apt dash get install and we need npm. So this actually might take a second as well to download. Now that that's downloading, I'm gonna let this download and it says over here that it's gonna be about three minutes to download and I'll bring you back once this download has finished. NPM has finished installing. What we can do is check this out by typing in ls. We can now cd into our juice shop directory and now you can just type in npm start and it is going to launch for us the juice shop server and it tells us that the server is listening on port 3000 so we'll come up here and you can just type in local host and then we just go 3000 and it pops open for us the juice shop web application we can type in dismiss but one thing you will notice as we start is burp is not going to work because this server we have running is right here on our Kali machine. So what we need to do is open up burp and link this real quick it only takes a few seconds. If your proxy is on and you notice you click around on the web application, nothing is happening. What you have to do is open a new tab and we'll type in about config. It's gonna tell us that there's, it's risky. We'll say accept the risk. And inside here, we're going to type in network.proxy and it will bring you to a page that looks exactly like this. We're gonna click on this one right here. And what you'll do is you'll click this button right here and you'll turn this to false. This will make our request go through burp on our local host right here that we have spun up. So now we can save this by closing out. And if we come over here and our proxy is on, we click on something and our request comes through burp. So there's one more thing I want to show you. And we actually just covered this in a recent video on this channel, but it just so happens to be the first bug you need to find on juice shop. And I want to help you find this first bug because it is one you need to know. It's going to show you where all of the list of vulnerabilities you can find on the web application are located. So what you can do is come in here and click inspect. We will pull open our console and we'll come to the debugger. And inside here, if we click this main.js and then we click the little pretty print lines down here, it will open up this JavaScript file for us. And now that this is open, if I was looking for actual bugs inside this JavaScript file, I would have to scroll through and just read all of this and look for things that maybe shouldn't be inside this JavaScript file. But because I don't want to take a really long time, I want to show you exactly what we're looking for. I'll hit Command A and then Command C to copy this. I'll come to my terminal. I will type in gedit. We'll open up a new notepad. We can come to find and we're looking for something called score dash board and it's telling you inside the app there is this scoreboard. There is this scoreboard directory. So if we come back in here and we just type in scoreboard, you can actually scroll through some of these and it'll tell us and it'll tell us that this scoreboard is actually inside of our path if we look far enough. And right here it tells us that the scoreboard is inside of our path. So what you can do is come right up here and type in score dash board. And if you hit enter, it will take us to the scoreboard and this will show you all of the different vulnerabilities that you can find and we have solved the scoreboard page. Okay, so now I want to turn you loose on the OWASP Juice Shop app. Some of you have been requesting a place where you can practice your bug bounty skills on a vulnerable web application and this is the best one. There are vulnerabilities all over and if you'd like for me to start walking through some of these juice shop vulnerabilities, you can let me know down in the comments and I'll work through my methodology and just show you what I would do if I was to attack this website. But for now, I want to turn you loose on Juice Shop and you can go ahead and start looking for bugs of your own. And if you are new to the bug bounty world, I'd like to point you to this video right here. It is my guide to starting your bug bounty journey. Thanks for watching.